Hi, Nicole. Hi. Hi. We're here together at the Continuous Delivery Conference in Stockholm 2017. And you did a keynote this morning. Yes, I yes. did. Uh, can you just give us a short insight into what was the, you know, the key takeaways from, from your key point? What was the keynote? What was the point? Sure. Hmm. So we kind of, we went over what DevOps is, if it's actually important, <laughs> right? Because for so long, people have always heard that technology is just a cost center. Hmm. It doesn't really matter. Should we really pay attention? What is this whole DevOps thing? And it really does matter. You know, IT is an investment. Technology is an investment. And what are the most important components? Hmm. It's some technology. It's some process. It's some culture. And as long as we're doing all of them, then technology really drives value for organizations in ways that are really important. We're seeing it show up on the bottom line. Yeah. We're seeing really important and interesting, you know, things like profitability, productivity, market share, effectiveness, efficiency, customer satisfaction for organizations. Yeah, and and your point and ethos and all is that you got data to back this up, right? Yes, exactly. Yes. We have the data. <laughs> yeah. It's yes, not exactly. just stories. No. Although stories are great, no. the plural of anecdote isn't mm. anecdata. Mm. Now we've got yeah. the data. Yeah, and so so you're coming from Dora, right? The DevOps. Uh, 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 you're the masterminds behind the, the, the state of DevOps, right? And, yep. And, uh, and um, so can you tell us a little bit about what is that project? What is that all about? Sure. Dora. Sure. So Dora is DevOps Research and Assessment. Uh, we've partnered up with uh, the folks at Puppet for the last few years. Mm -hmm. And so Dora is myself, uh, Jez Humble, Gene Kim. And we've worked for the last four years to really collect all of this data and understand what it is. Like you said, we're kind of the masterminds behind this report. Mm. And so what is this report? So we've got over 23,000 data points from dozens of industries, from companies all over the world, companies of all sizes. We really wanted to investigate, you know, what is this DevOps thing? Does it really drive value? Mm. Yes, it does. Mm. And in what ways? You know, what are the, the key capabilities to really drive organizations' ability mm. to develop and deliver software with both speed and stability? Mm. Okay. We I found this out. Yeah, and what is your background in all this? How did you end up in this uh, DevOps landscape with continuous delivery this, and the report and all crazy that? crazy thing, yeah. right? So my background was actually in hardware and software. Mm. I was a software engineer for IBM for a few years, and then I mm. ended up doing hardware, which was a lot of fun. Um, and then I decided to go get a PhD because I wanted to really understand in large scale what it was that drove effectiveness, efficiency, and in particular value for teams and organizations and then also, I, I kind of wanted to understand what helps make our work better from an individual standpoint, because I used to be the one making and building and maintaining these systems. You know, I was a sysadmin for mm. a while, too. And so... so you felt the pain once. I, oh, my <laughs> word. Yes, exactly. I felt that pain. Yeah. And so I got my PhD. And that's where I learned how to do research. A PhD mm. is a research degree. Mm. And so I did that for several years. I was in academia. And that was what I ended up researching. Mm -hmm. okay. And that was when I ended up joining the team four years ago. And so okay. we've been running what are the largest DevOps studies to date. Mm. Yeah, and, and a lot of the things that you produce are actually available for people just to go and read and download, right? Yep, they're yeah. all free, they're yeah. all open sourced. Mm -hmm. And so you can find them on our website. It's mm. devops-research.com. Cool. The state of DevOps reports are all free. A handful of them have been published in peer review. Mm. So it's all there. Good, and what's coming next? I mean, an annual report, or I mean, what, what, where are you taking this? What's happening? So every year, the research is sort of iterative, right? We uh, kind of yeah. build on what we found in prior years. So in the next couple of months, we'll be figuring out what we want to investigate in next year's report. Uh -huh. We also have some white papers. Mm. So last year, we came out with an ROI white paper mm. that kind of helps walk you through what might mm. ROI look like. You know, everyone mm. says, "What's the ROI of DevOps?" Mm. Well, that's going to be that's really hard. You know, the answer is mm. always it depends. But mm. we lay out. What are some interesting ways, what are some good ways to think about forecasting the value of a technology transformation? So mm. we've laid that out. We also have a white paper coming out later this year mm. um, that Jez led uh, with the US government talking about what it's like to mu move to the cloud in federal environments. He was at uh, the US federal government at 18F for a year. We also have another white paper coming out talking about metrics mm. in DevOps and technology environments. So that's coming out later this year as well. We mm. have a book coming out uh, myself and Jez and Jean really kind of compiling the last four years of research because it's hard for me to just say, yeah. you know, download the last yeah. four years and yeah. read it and synthesize yeah. it and then yeah. call me up if you have questions yeah. about the science. So that's coming out, I think, early 2018. Okay. 
That sounds good. Mm, lots of content. Yeah. And then we also have an assessment product mm. um, that we offer to organizations if mm. anyone really wants to understand mm. how they measure, how they benchmark against the mm. industry, and then mm. um, what priorities they have, right? Mm. What they should really focus on to really accelerate their transformation. Mm. I, I have a question for you about, you know, this conference that we're doing here, it seems like both your keynotes, but also a lot of the other talks uh, in, in, in these conferences appears actually to be about people, right? We're back to the Agile Manifesto. It's, it's people over processes and tools. It turns out that, you know, uh, the contemporary conception of, of what DevOps is, is really that it is about people. Uh, how would you reflect on that? It really is. You know, sometimes I joke that technology is easy, people are hard. Mm. Technology definitely is complex and it's challenging, but we can figure it out. And we can figure it out because we have really smart, capable, accomplished people behind it. But sometimes that's also the difficult, challenging thing, right? Is that we have people needing to figure all of this out. Mm. And the more people that we get in a room, sometimes the more challenging it is, particularly as we're dealing with complex infrastructures and complex organizations. Mm. And mm. it really is just about figuring out that culture and you know all the cliches, breaking down silos and mm. reaching across teams, but that's really what it comes down to, is making sure that we're all driving toward that common goal. We find ways to communicate more effectively, more efficiently, mm. so to solve these really difficult problems. Yeah. So it's actually interaction with people that's going to save us in the end, not tools at all. Which is so yeah. funny because oh, sometimes yeah. the joke is that we all went into engineering so we don't have to talk to people. Yeah, exactly. But that's exactly <laughs> what we need what to do. Doing, yeah. Cool. Thank you very much for joining Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thank Thanks for having me. Thank you. Yeah.